Hey, bro, we got two Priuses up here in front of me. Hey, can I just give a quick shout out to these dudes? Thank you guys for being so conservative on fuel so that I can use them for my race cars. Y'all the real MVPs. Here we go. Sorry, neighbors. <laughs> Excited? Huh? You excited? I suppose. <laughs> Are you nervous? I suppose. <laughs> Here we go. My favorite part. We get to drive the Wiener Magnet an hour to go get the car tuned at Trackstar. Haven't been to Trackstar in a while. Oh, turn on the wheel. I'm ready to see what this Hiroshima hair dryer, Ching Chong Choo Choo Boy, Wu Tang War Whistle can do. Ooh, it's going down today. I'm gonna pull up. I can't wait to finish and you know actually fix this interior. That's next step, bro. Woo! Everybody's staring right now. Everybody is staring. <laughs> oh, that's a stinky smell. <laughs> He's <laughs> Ethan has no idea it's this loud. Ethan! We're back! Oh, oh. Back at Trackstar. Oh no. My bumper, but my yeah, I lost a screw. I gotta put that back on. My bumper kinda fell off. <laughs> yeah, well I'm glad you think so because it really sounds terrible. Let's check that out. We, you know what? I'm actually a little impressed we end up making this work because of how big the compressor housing was. Like it, yeah, we well, thought we were gonna have I to go. I would have not expected this path. But I, it's I the only it thing that would have worked, dude. Yeah. I, I heard these Jay-Z's are pretty strong, though. I, I, if we can get the actual tuning apparatus on it, then we, you know, we might be able to push to a really big number. We I have to get a standalone anyways. Yeah. So, so I mean, once I get a standalone, then we might be able to, you know, get some extra Cindy out of this. I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see how this is gonna work. This compressor housing is just so big. Oh, it's kind of a weird kit. It's a cheap kit. It's a weird kit, but you know, my favorite part about this type of stuff is seeing if it works. Alrighty, we're gonna see what happens. rich right now. Super, super rich. But it's a cold star, so actually we're kind of good. Thirteen eight, four. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty good, actually. Alright, so at this point, Ethan, like, there's nothing you can do. Yep. We're all not, all not I'm doing is looking to put a stamp of approval on Yes, it's good on three pounds, five, five pounds, whatever. We're not looking to go full throttle right at all, you know, at all. We want to see Get like... anything. I want to go full. <laughs> so really, so right now the car is on stock ECU, stock injector, stock fuel pump, and we're just gonna see like, can the car handle it? You know, you're gonna have to tell me if I'm good to go. I can't see a damn okay. thing. Right hand drive you're car. Good problems. You're good now. It seems like it's a little lean right now. Yeah. Yeah, I see a, a plenty of 15 on here right now. said I've been in a couple configs where the fuel system was pretty much like stock. I do believe that those setups had math and uh, this does not have that so Interesting. this may not be as well equipped to make changes itself as as uh, as I thought you know. Okay. Dilemma. Yes. Go. So the JDM car 
only has a map sensor. It does not have a MAF sensor. So the problem being that the map sensor here in this config is not is not ready for boost. So once it sees zero pounds, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't know where to go from there. A MAF sensor is not pressure based, so it doesn't know what's zero pounds. It just sees more and more air, and until you get to the limit of the MAF, it's not a problem. But uh, considering that this only has a map, yeah. it looks like we're, we probably can't get away with uh, what we were hoping to. Mm. We're gonna have to do some kind of uh, piggyback So I need some sort of so yeah. piggyback or standalone. I might just get a standalone. Probably obviously, just go ahead and get the standalone. Obviously I need that for yeah. the, so standalone will eliminate all those issues basically, well, yeah. That's poopy. You got any extra standalone sitting around <laughs> here? So, is there, so there's nothing we can do today. Really nothing we can do. Womp womp. Yeah. Tomorrow. So thankfully we have a company pretty local to us in Dallas. Um, unfortunately, couldn't be the same day. I really wanted to try and go to Cletus and Cars, but it didn't happen just because we couldn't get this stuff figured out. So this is a jumper for a full standalone on a 2JZ. So we weren't intending on doing this, but now we're gonna have literally unlimited capabilities with tuning and this is gonna be the standalone that my GTE is gonna have and all that kind of stuff I didn't expect to be like this this early but because my car is not a mass airflow car that's the only way I can actually do this anyways currently getting the fuel pump and stuff done and then removing the ECU Goodbye. hey guys I got a sick in a ECU if you guys want <laughs> I like the plug and play man yep. yeah that looks that does look cool too good. pow pow that's good. I yep. like it. There she is. Very cool. Talking about a... <gasps> uh, kill it. Burn the car now. Kill it. JDM kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Yes, yeah, it's true, not Chinese Corona. <laughs> oh, no. Containing. Oh, damn, bro. <laughs> Again, we have this nice, beautiful box full of Detourx stuff. Some of this is for the Skyline. Um, I think this is gonna be injectors for the soup, and then this is gonna be the fuel pump or something like that. And I got a bunch of uh, braided line. There we go, we found the pump. Nice, 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 nice. This one is ready and rated for E85, a lot higher horsepower, um, DW400. This thing is a uh, lot, lot LPH is going through this um, bit right here. Very much like our new scenario where we have the standalone, and the oh yeah, the throwaway motor like yeah. this is gonna be good. Yes, this is gonna I like be that. Good. I, I bestow you. Uh, I, I take. Thank Pass you. <laughs> oh jeez, bro. <laughs> Damn. Wow. Damn, dude. Oh my god. This is goals. <laughs> What's up, man? This is my friend from Boosted Project. How you doing, brother? Doing good, dude. This car is gnarly. I heard it from so far away. <laughs> How much power does this thing make? I made 1378 to the wheels on 1370? the 1370? Yeah. Oh my god. God dang, dude! Wow. Damn! Oof. You gotta tell me where you got this. That is, that is tight. Boy! What the hell? Woo! So Ariel actually has, uh, I guess this is probably why you have the extra interior pieces because of all this, but um, I need the interior for, the, for my rear and I am, uh, I'm very excited, but damn boy, that is crazy. Wow, wow, wow. I, I don't know if you guys know this, but I love Supras. Let's compare sizes real quick, Ethan. Look at that stock bump. Look at that big boy. Damn. All right, and now we have got the ECU, got that bad gum ECM right there. This is a good one. Standalone for all the things. Okay, the fuel sucky boy is done. Everybody say bye to Ariel. So we're at the mercy of stock injectors. We're gonna see how this happens. I am, I'm really curious to see what in the world at least the stock injectors can go up to. Are we gonna make 300 horsepower? We're gonna make 250, 240. It'd be nice if it was more, but. We'll see. Are we gonna hop it on the dyno today? Or are you gonna wait until we like switch to E and I have an exhaust and we shoot we probably poop, poop that, some flames? But I think we could probably we could we could do some flames today though. But I don't have an exhaust. Yeah. It'll go straight out the I'll bottom. Under the It'll be under the under the car <laughs> flames. I'm down for that though. I'm always down. Hey, Evan, pass me up on flames. I oh, know that's I was about to say something to that effect. Um I I like I like flames. <laughs>
So the uh, NA cars come with a fuel pump controller. It's like an ECU that kind of like, not regulates, but I guess just tells the fuel pump when to go on and off. And it was preventing us from starting it. So we had to bypass this. And now, um, yeah, I, gu I guess some turbo guys actually like to have this instead of the nine and 12 volt switch. It's just one of those things that you have to do that takes up a little more time than you want, but it has to be done. They smell stinky. I Per usual, I have a car that... Got a couple special things. <laughs> special stuff for special guy, you know. Hear that, Mom? I'm special. <laughs> Alright, let me go more Ooh. in that direction. <laughs> actually sounds healthy, it sounds good. We had a bit of issues with the distributor. Rather than having coil packs, this car has a distributor, and so that's been giving us a little bit of issues talking to the ECU, but now we should be all right. We rated two-step and three-step and four-step, and it's just a boost, boost. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> that sounds pretty good to me. So this process, just drive slowly and see yes, what happens. Sir. Oh, she did. Can you rev now without it trying to cut you? Kind of cuts. There. Okay, let's see if we can yeah. drive it. Must be lacking some water. Okay. Surprise, now um, we're having some cooling issues. The clutch fan is just... <sighs> nice. It was awesome to be able to do a few pulls and to get everything pretty much done. A lot of times when you do builds like this, a lot of things just happen and don't go exactly the way that you want it to. The clutch fan going bad kind of just put the icing on the cake saying like, you know what, come back the next day and then let's actually tune it. So we'll fix that. I have a little oil leak and then uh, fix the clutch fan so we can get it cool, running nicely, not smoking or anything like that. We're gonna see how much power we can make this next video. Today, I just want like my final advice for the end of the video. So it's been kind of on my heart, on my mind lately is that um, one of the biggest reasons this world is such a crappy place to live in 
and one of the biggest reasons like we have so many issues with each other whether it's countries races or just between people is because we have so much hatred and like revenge and anger in our hearts and it's if somebody cuts you off you gotta cut them back off if somebody yells at you you gotta yell back at them or if you know it's like so you did this to me 10 years ago I gotta do it back to you everybody's all about revenge 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 and I just want to challenge you guys tomorrow um, just keep it simple you live such a good life and much happier life when you start each day with a clean slate, if somebody wrongs you, I mean, it's human nature for us to want to like get back at them, to, to lash back and do worse to them than they did to us. I just want to challenge you guys to to forgive. And you can't really forget, if somebody's, done, if somebody's wronged you, forgive them for it, man. Start a clean slate and um, just keep going with your life. Now, it doesn't mean you have to just roll with every punch possible, but you know, learning to roll with punches and especially learning to have a forgiving heart and a loving heart is the most important thing. I think a human is one of the most important treasures, uh, especially in this day and age. So I love you guys. I'll see you guys next video with some do 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 do. Deuce. Ayy. Um, yeah, I got two videos for you, dude. That's all I have to tell you, but you should probably watch them. That's it.